You got the man lunkers and your boy, the steelhead slayer himself. He's here, ready to go. And, uh, okay. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are, like I said, we're out here fishing. If you haven't seen day one, I will leave the link down below. You should check it out. Uh, Rob made an interesting video, so you can check out his video. It's, it's a lot different from mine, I can tell you that. Uh, <laughs> but we're out here for the second and final day out here searching for the behemoth steelhead. The goal is 20 pounder. You think it's doable? I think it's doable. It's doable. It's, it's not easy, but it's doable. We got Rob. He's, he's going to stay in the front. Uh, I was in the front the majority of the time yesterday, so I'll be chilling on the back today. But we are on, what, what's the name of this river? This is the Soul Duck River. Soul Duck River. Absolutely gorgeous place. This, is, this reminds me a lot of when we were sturgeon fishing in BC. And that's, that's because we were, we're actually pretty close to that right now. But if you guys haven't ever been up here, what's that? In Nebraska. Reminds me a lot of Nebraska. It actually reminds Rob a lot of Nebraska because he's Nebraska. never been in Nebraska, so this reminds him of Nebraska. But if you guys haven't been up here, I highly suggest it. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. It's honestly one of my favorite places on planet Earth. Just it's just I don't know. I love it. This is just this, it, I mean, what, what can't you love? You got you got trees with wizard beard on it. All right, they, like everything is just covered in wizard beard. It's not moss. It is not moss. It is wizard beard. So you're saying you like this place better than India. Yeah, I do. Confirmed, I like this place better than India, 100,000%. 100, but this is just, it's weird. It's very, it's very eerie looking. You see, we got the, got the fog, the mist looking thing with the, you, you guys see it. You guys see it. I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty interesting stuff. But anyways, I'm going to shut up. Got the old GoPro rolling today. We're going to see if we can make it happen. Let's go. I don't think I got that. I think I just got the rock on that back side. Six hours later. And we're good to go. Oh man, I haven't talked to you guys in, uh, in quite some minute, or quite quite a minute, quite some time. Uh, it has been rough. I haven't caught a single fish. Rob actually did finally catch a fish. He went all day yesterday without a fish, and uh, he did catch one, so that's good. Congrats to him, and you guys can check out his stuff. Link to link below if you want to watch it. But uh, we're moving, so kind of like a midday midday break. Not really a break, but we're moving spots. We basically went the entire uh, the entire section of the river in which we fished this section last night. But then now we are headed to somewhere new. Some of that, Rob and I, neither one of us have ever been, and, uh, and our guide says, could potentially hold some fish. So we're gonna give it one last shot. This is the final day here, so this is our last last stretch to, to catch a big one. He got a big one though, so now it's my turn. I gotta, I gotta catch a big one. Oh my goodness, look at, look at, first off, look at this boat ramp. This camera doesn't quite do it justice, but I mean, I mean, let me, let me, I know, I don't even like, it's a straight drop. This camera does not help at all, but this is, it's like this, and then it's straight up to the boat, and uh, yeah, looks interesting. So our guide said this is the most treacherous, treacherous, scary, dangerous, something like that, uh, water we've encountered so far today, uh, and actually through this entire trip, and yesterday we've en we encountered some, some pretty sketchy stuff, so uh, I'm a little bit nervous, just a, just a wee bit nervous, but uh, I mean, I'm hoping we're going to catch the fish. This is our last shot. This is my last shot at catching a fish today. Really hoping, really hoping to land one. I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty optimistic. I think I've got a good feeling about this. I think it's going to happen. You guys stay tuned. Either that or uh, you might sink the boat. I don't know. Either way, stay tuned. Oh, okay, okay. All right, yep. No, you're good. This is a first for me. Don't think I've ever seen this. Yeah, perfect. Just dump, dump it right in there. Boat's in the water. Look at that. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are um, we're making our. Oh, okay, yep, there's a tree. Son of a. All right. Hey, we're good. Oh, geez, son of a. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's just. What am I gonna do with this camera? Let's put this thing away. Yep. Okay. Camera's away, and there's just. Okay. There's a big rock right here. Okay. Oh. Nope. Oh. Oh yeah. This is fine. I'm fine. We're good. There's a tree. We're good. We're good to go, folks. I know I haven't been doing a whole lot of talking, like GoPro action. Uh, honestly, I was just really focused on catching fish. Just really, really trying to dial them in. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what we're doing. But, you know, if you guys didn't see part one, like I said, I'll link it down below. We're using these guys right here, little jigs. We sometimes put shrimp on them, sometimes not. Mostly not because I'm too lazy to put it on. But that's what we're rolling with today. Just a nice little, little spinning gear setup on a beautiful river. Is this the same river? What's this? This is the Soul Duck. Soul Duck. This is still the Soul. This is still the Soul Duck River. So we're still in the same. We're still in the same river. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna see what we can see. What we can make happen here. We only got. So this is only gonna last a couple hours. We don't. This isn't a very long drift. All right, we are approaching some rapids. I'm gonna stand up and try to keep my balance and not die. Enjoy. Ouch! God, dang son. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we're good. Rob just about got killed by a tree. Yeah, this ain't this ain't nothing. I went to India and came back with a leg infection and still survived. So, hey, this ain't nothing. I am such an idiot. Oh my gosh, I am a freaking idiot. Had the GoPro not rolling for like the 20th time on this trip. My bobber goes down and I start slapping my rod to get it unhung from the rock in which it's not a rock, ladies and gentlemen. It's a freaking fish. Oh my god, it's not a bad one either. I mean, it's not a not a behemoth, but this is a freaking good fish. I cannot believe that just happened. I am such an idiot. I'm trying to unsnag the fish that I just caught. Real smart, Flair. Real smart. Did you see me being stupid? Yeah, I did. I, I, mean, I, I mean, my GoPro wasn't even on either. That's the best part. You got the fish. Okay, hopping out, you guys? Yep, go ahead. Oh, baby. It's a decent one. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a Robert Turkla freaking steelhead, but it's a decent one. Don't you go around that rock, big guy. Yeah, it is. It's a really, really pretty looking one. Really pretty looking one. Woo! Come on now. It's about stinking time, baby. Been fishing all. Don't you go around that rock, son. You in that rock? I don't, I'm not a fan. Swim downstream right into the net. Yeah, right. No, no, no. Not towards the rock. Down in the net. Yeah, you're going right in the net. You don't even know what's coming. You don't even know what's coming. Okay, okay. All right. See what's going on right now. These are extremely hard fighting fish. And you guys have never steelhead fish. These are insane. I mean, it's like smallmouth on steroids, if that's even possible. Go, come on. Gosh. Come on. You can do it, buddy. You can do it, buddy. Oh, oh, he's under you. He's, he's uh, <laughs> You're getting attacked by the fish. What the? <laughs> You went, you went right under that net. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Absolutely freaking insane. Come on. Oh my gosh, sometime today, Junior. Let's go. T -t -t today, Junior? Come on, right in the net, right in the net, right in the net. Yes! Woo! Yes! Yes, baby! Yes! Oh, that is a gorgeous fish, dude. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. That is such a pretty fish. Holy crap. All right, get in the water. Oh my gosh. This thing is so freaking cool looking. Buddy. It's okay. We got we got the pictures. So it was a quick release. All right, quick release. You weren't. No. Were you? Yes, you are. You're still holding the camera. Were you not recording? At least some of you are recording. Oh, Roslyn, man, he was recording. All right, we'll take it. What's the picture look like? Oh my goodness. 
Follow me on Instagram, at Fishing with Flair. Boom, you'll see it, you'll see it. Finally, 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 the new spot came in clutch, ladies and gentlemen. It came in clutch, and we still have a little bit of time left. Thank goodness, that was, we've been grinding. Let's just say this entire trip has been a grind, but that's what it takes to catch these fish. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Not the biggest, but it was very beautiful. All right, get back in the boat, see if we can catch another one. All right, we're approaching another extremely sketchy area. Okay, all right, oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh. We're good. Oh, sh I for sure just about went in the water. Well, ladies and gentlemen, over there is Longer Stevie taking a, a pee, as, as he calls it. And uh, we're going to attempt to catch and cook now. Now, for those of you guys that did not watch the video I filmed yesterday, the very first video from this trip, I caught a fish from a hatchery, which is when they're basically are hatched and they make their way up here. They're, they're not wild, okay? They're not supposed to be here. So you actually, what I call bonk them, not what I call, what everybody calls them. You bonk them and then you, uh, you, you, you eat them essentially. And uh, so I'll roll the clip now of, uh, of me catching that fish and then bonking it and then I'll come back. Right in the net. Yes! <laughs> yes, baby! <laughs> yes! I think, I think he's good. Is it good? Yeah. Right there. That is, uh, that's my fish. We bonked it, is what they say, because it is, because it came from a hatchery, and right. it does not belong here. Right. So you kill it yep. and eat it. So yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. Uh, you bonk it, you kill it, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna attempt to, uh, to do a little catch and cook here in the good old rainforest. That's not good. Is it a catch and sushi challenge now, or, or how's this gonna work? Mmm, yeah, looks like uh, that's not gonna work, guys. Uh, <laughs> no fire. There's no fire, we just can't get the grill started. It's just one of those things, you know, it's just, it's just not happening. But, uh, anyways, let's, I guess let's show the folks at least what we, the, the, the fish. Let's just show them the fish that we have. I'm not lying, we, we, we have a fish somewhere. Look at that pretty little thing right there. Oh, that looks so delicious. Why can't this fire work? Come on, fire. Oh, that looks so good. That's that's the fish that I uh, that I caught yesterday and that we bonked and filleted and and that and that's pretty much it. But we're uh, we're we're unable to cook it right now. So, uh, Rob, you down for some sushi? Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm gonna get real sushi tonight. You're gonna get this is this is the this is the realest sushi gets. All right, because I to try it. What happened? What are we doing? Are you gonna eat it? Oh, I will eat it. Well, you, really, you're not gonna eat it? Come on, Robert. I'll eat it. I don't care. I mean, as long as I'm not gonna die. Not I've gonna done. I've put worse things in my mouth. Let's put it that way. You guys ready for this? It's good. It's good. It tastes like sushi. Yeah. Rob, you're crazy. It's, it's like it's just sealed. Fresh. It's fresh. Fresh. <laughs> fresh. Fresh sushi. That's actually. It's actually pretty good. I, don't, I, I actually expected it to be a lot worse than that, but that was, that was good. Okay. Hey, look, our trunk's open. Did you hit the button? Is all of our stuff stolen? No, our stuff's in there. Are, are you sure our stuff's in there? Yep. No idea why that was working. Okay. I'm gonna get this A1 lighting going here. Um, uh, well, the last thing you saw was us, I think, pulling the boat out, maybe? Rob, maybe, what are these called? Do you have a name for them? Uh, bubble, I think it's called Bubble Tea. Bu uh, bubble Tea, it's got like, I think. bubbles, I don't know, I'm not sure. But, anyways, quick little update, Rob and I, we had a great what? Valentine's Day uh, date. We, uh, we, had, we, yeah, we had a little date together, we sat across from each other, it was real... Real, real doing? uncomfortable in there. Was, uh, had, some, had some good food, though, and uh, we're head of the hotel. But, um, so I'll, I'll just, I don't want to end the video here. I'll, I'll end it at the hotel. Okay, I'll end it at the hotel. All right, you guys need to let me know. What it, see those, see those little balls in there? Okay, let me, let me know what these are actually called. We got it from, it was a Vietnamese restaurant, right? So, anyone knows, maybe from Seattle, I don't know if this is like a common thing, but Vietnamese, it's like basically a smoothie, like it's like a sm strawberry smoothie, but there's a bunch of like little balls. Super weird texture, but it's like surprisingly addicting. Like, you just want to like keep eating them, but then like, 
I don't know. It's it, let me know in the comments down below. What what is this thing actually called? But as you can tell, Rob and I we are in our hotel. He heads out early in the morning. I actually head out at like 10, 10 30 or something like that. But then he's going to Texas. I'm going back to Nebraska and and hopefully working on working on the old John Boat project. I'm hoping to kind of crank that thing out before before the ice melts and actually get to start using it and whatnot. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this fail catch and cook video. We caught the fish yesterday. I didn't even show any of the cleaning and we didn't cook it. So really, it's not a catch and cook <laughs> at all because none of the events happened on camera. But, you know, I'm still going to call it a catch and cook because that's what that's what the whole idea was behind it. And I ended up just eating a chunk of raw fish. But it was, I mean, hey, that's what happens when you're a YouTuber. You're really good at, good at what you do. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed this different type of video where, you know, I didn't go bass fishing, didn't go ice fishing, didn't shoot ice with guns or shoot birds flying and do something different let me know in the comment section down below and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and then this dude right here got a freaking giant fish so if you guys want to see his video it will be linked down below his channel will be so you can check that out as well thank you guys so much for watching and peace